Amen. What have we seen today? We've seen sin begin with these two sons of the priest who begin to take that which belonged to God. Then we see, you see, oh, y'all may not know, y'all come back next week. If you'll steal from God, I don't know if I can trust you with anything I got. All right. That's the truth. They stole from God. Brother Tyler said he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> they stole from God. They laid with the women of the tabernacle. Eli did nothing about it. The Word of God's cut off. There's no open vision. The lamp of God goes out in the temple and now Eli the priest falls and breaks his neck when he hears that God's presence has been taken from the midst of Israel. And it all started with a three-letter word that could have been dealt with at the beginning of this. Sin. All of the above is caused by sin. Sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. It did then, it will today. It did for Lucifer, it did for Adam and Eve, it did for Saul, it did for Samson, it did for David, it did for Eli, it did for his sons, and it'll do it for you too. Amen. That's the truth. It'll do it for you too. Yes, sir. So he dies, and his daughter-in-law, who was the wife of Phineas, was with child, near to be delivered. And when she heard the tidings that the ark of God was taken, yeah. that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and she travailed, for her pains came upon her. Yeah. And about the time of her death, the woman that stood beside her, she was given birth. The woman that stood beside her, she's about to die in childbirth. She's given birth to the baby. Yeah. And it says that when the time of her death, the woman that stood by her said, Fear not, for thou hast borne a son. Yeah. But she answered not. Mm -hmm. Neither did she regard it. The grief and the judgment was so heavy. You know how it is whenever people have a baby. They're like, oh, we've got a son. Yeah. There was no joy there. Sin will leave you without no joy. Amen. Your whole family. That's right. You remember what happened with Achan, don't you? It affected his whole family. Listen to this. I'm trying to hush. She regarded it not. And it says in verse 21, and she named the child Ichabod, saying the glory is departed from Israel. The glory is departed from Israel for the ark of God was taken. And she names her son Ichabod, which means the Spirit of the Lord has departed. There is a spirit of Ichabod in the church today. Amen. God's Spirit has withdrawn Himself and they don't even know it. And it's happened because of sin. It's happened because they have neglected so great a salvation. They have neglected the message of the cross. They have neglected the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. They have neglected the things of God. And very soon now, judgment's coming. Sir. Judgment's coming. Amen. Yes, sin is not satisfied with part of you. That's right. It wants all of it. It's greedy. Sin's greedy. It wants everything you got. Come on. Amen. All of this that we've read, all of this that we've talked about, all of the things that we've discussed over the last few weeks, the problem's sin. All right. The cure is the same as it's always been. Come on. Amen. The slain blood of Jesus. The blood of the slain Lamb of God. So there is hope today. Amen. If you're hearing these words, it's not too late. No matter what you've got yourself mixed up in, no matter what you've allowed to go on, it's not too late. God is beckoning you, pleading with you. He's telling you today that there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners who plunge beneath the flood lose all of their guilty stains. Amen. The blood of Calvary is still the only answer today. Yes, sir. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and His blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness. I believe in daily repentance. I've told you that before. 
I suggest you do some studying and praying about that yourself. Amen? Hallelujah. God's merciful, but we must turn to Him for that mercy. Amen? Yes, sir. Call out upon Him and ask for forgiveness. Confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins because unconfessed sins will kill you. That's right. Sooner or later. Sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. Come on, Brother David.